Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today, I'm going to take this trailer hitch and I'm going to weld a step onto it. So, we're going to build a step just out of some simple checker plate I've had laying around forever and ever. And uh, this one here is for my buddy Gord. And basically, he wants a step where he can stand and tie up his uh, kayaks. So, we need it. It's going to be about uh, I think when it all works out, it'll be about 15 inches. How wide? I still haven't determined that. I'm going to just see what kind of looks good. And then we'll go from there. It'll be about six, maybe six and a half inches wide. You just, you want something on your, so that you don't slip off. Make it, you know, kind of safe. But anyway, what we're going to do is we'll get this cut out. And then what I want to do is I want to bend over a three-quarter inch lip all the way around it. Now, that's kind of tough when it's just, you know, this is eighth inch uh, material here. And just for a regular DIY guy who doesn't have any of those fancy brakes, you got to come up with a solution. I've got one. So we will be able to bend that. And then once we get that done, simply just Weld it on here. And it's only going to stick out a little bit so we don't really have to worry about um, supporting it any which way. I think that once it's welded onto the hitch, it's going to be fine. You just got to clean up all the powder coat or whatever they put on there to make sure that when you do weld, it's perfect and it's not going to break off on you. So, first thing we're going to do, trim this up. I'll make a decision on the width and then I can cut this and then get started on bending the uh, edges over. It's going to go all the way around three quarters of an inch. The piece is actually pretty square. You know, when you're cutting metal, make an effort to always cut it square if you, if you can, unless you're something cutting something on crooked on purpose. The nice thing about that is the next time you use it, it's going to be square. And I was just fortunate that everything is nice and square. If not, you'd have to straighten it out because, you know, even though a crooked step is not that big of a deal, it just doesn't look that good. Okay, so this is the notch here where the, uh, the back of the uh, trailer hitch is going to be. And we got to cut these corners out of here. Now when you cut these corners out, you don't make them too, too tight here. A little bit of a, you know, just go over the edge on this side is actually benefit because when you do bend it, then it's not going to pinch and you, you'll know you'll get your 90. Hope that makes some sense. So I'm just going to take the zip cut, cut the corners out, cut this out, and then we can uh, go ahead and bend this all up. We're going to weld the corners up, so don't worry too much about that.
Okay, now to bend this, it's all cut out, looks kind of nice. And what I'm going to do is we're going to clamp this on this piece of uh, angle iron here, and then I'm just going to hammer over the edge and make this bend. Now, it's eighth inch. Well, it's a little less than eighth inch on this one. I think they call this a 10 gauge. I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut a groove with my grinder and that's just going to thin the metal down and make it easier to, to bend. And then what I'll do is once it's bent I'm just going to take and I'll stitch every once in a while you know just to give it that strength so it never you know doesn't ever want to bend back. Because once it's there that's it's only there for support. So, what I found is you almost have to use a grinding disc that about the same width as your material. Because if you use, like if I just used a little thin uh, zip disc and made a groove down there, what ends up happening is as it folds up, it kind of pinches. And then you just don't get, it's a little harder to get that 90 without really beating on it. So I'm just using a thinner disc here. This one's about an eighth inch. And I don't know what they call them, a pipeliner or something. And I'm just going to go down. I'm not going to go too deep, maybe a 32nd of an inch or so, which would be a millimeter. And just to help me so that I can bend it. I'm just going to grind down the center of the, uh, each one of my marks. Now it's just a matter of lining it all up, our angle iron here. Now make sure you grind the groove on the bottom. Now if you haven't got an 8 inch uh, grinding disc, you can use one bigger or if you're really good with a grinder or a zip cut, well you have to be good with the grinder, you can just make a cut with a zip cut and then just go along and just, just angle your grinder just a little bit and that will widen out your gap. So I've got a piece just a quarter bar in here. Just going to put this on top. Remember if you don't get it perfect it's just a step. I'm not going to get marked on it, so I think I'm good. That should be good. Three quarters, three quarters. Okay. Now, just take your time. Make sure your vise is tight.
Pretty good. Nice tight bend, looks really good. And you can see what it looks like on the inside, how that uh, grinding it is a bit of a benefit because it just kind of pinches on itself. What the benefit of that whole thing too is you're gonna get a real nice crisp bend. Okay, now we just do our, our edges here. We should be good to go. If you're hammering away and your arm gets really sore, that might mean that you need to work out. I'm saying that because, uh, you yeah, know, I'm being honest with you, mine was pretty sore. So I may have to work on the pipes a bit. this side first. Now this last one, you really can't get that going on that piece of angle because you know you got this, unless you put a spacer underneath there, but that's a lot of work. So what you could do is you could just bring this in and use your vise, just do a little bit at a time, okay? But I did find a piece of uh, angle on it. It's not quite the, the exact width that I need but I think it's gonna be fine. Let's go this way. So we'll just start on one corner here. I think I might be able to get away without you know, I'll put that piece on the top anyway. Let's see if I've got a smaller top. A little smaller. Okay, right. I'm going to start on the corner so I got a good view of where I'm at. Straight edge and see where I'm at here. Whew, way off. Let's tap that over. That looks good. go here. Yep. That looks 
it's awesome. So now what we're going to do is weld up the corners and then we're ready to weld this step onto the uh, hitch. Just going to put a couple stitches on our uh, bins.
Just going to round the corners off so when you jam your knee into it, it's not too bad. And there you have it, a step that you can put into your receiver. That was not a bad project to do. You know, I maybe got oh, a little over an hour into it, maybe an hour and a half, the time you find all your material and get everything all set up. So a great DIY project. No reason why anybody can't build this. All right, I'm gonna go test it out. And until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.